Good morning. Nope. It's 12:40, and my camera battery is about to die. Good lord, I'm a mess. Yes, it is 12:40. <laughs> Hello. On a Friday and I have so much to do. Okay, I have been working all morning and I just finished editing a vlog for Sierra and it's summer Friday so my work day is done. I have a little more editing to do for Sierra. I have so much to do. So I have this huge pile of laundry and more is coming out of the machine shortly. So today I'm gonna fold all my laundry, put it all away and then you know what? Actually, before I fold my laundry, I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'm gonna eat some lunch, fold some laundry, go to the gym and then maybe more stuff that I don't know about yet. Oh my goodness, aren't you sweet? This is our neighborhood kitty, Val. Well, we don't know her real name. Actually, it's probably on her collar. We call her Val. I don't know, we always name our street cats. But she loves Beethoven and Big Tuna and she's always bugging them through the window. She just roams around this complex. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to touch your collar. I'm gonna go on a walk now. Bye, Val. Oh no, don't be cute again. You know I can't resist a cute little kitty cat. You're so cute. You just want human love. Where's your owners? Valerie's owners must look close to us because she's literally always around our unit. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, Gunny? Stop looking so adorable. Okay. I have to go on my walk. Something smells really good. Someone's cooking something yummy. I was gonna go to the gym today. I usually go on Fridays in the afternoon. And I just can't really be fucking fucks to go. It's a beautiful day outside. I was probably just gonna go there and walk anyway. So I am going to walk around the outdoors. I love the beautiful views of the upper valley of Los Angeles. <laughs> no, but I do want to get to 10,000 steps. I was at like 3,500 just from walking around doing chores this morning. So I don't know, I'll try and walk a few miles and listen to my audiobook. Well, I got my steps in. I went a little overkill. I walked further than I meant to. I was listening to my audiobook. I meant to walk like a mile and a half out. And then when I, my Apple watch hit a mile and a half, I was gonna turn around, three mile walk, seemed nice. Accidentally walked five and a half miles. <laughs> really tired. Definitely. And my hands, I noticed like at the end, they're like really swollen. Don't mind the fact that all my nails are broken basically. But yeah, I don't know what that's about. I gotta Google, why would my hands get, I mean, they're getting a lot better now, but they were like painfully swollen. And like the last 20 minutes of that walk, I was like walking like this with my hands up. Cause I thought like all, the, I felt like all the blood was like pooling in my fingers. Something's wrong with me. I don't know, I'm gonna Google it. Okay, I'm in the middle of cooking dinner. Just took a shower. And we got a registry present. I usually wait for Mario to come home to open these, but I know what these were because we only ordered a few things off Anthropology, and they're all for me. So I got dish towels, which <laughs> we don't have any dish towels. We got rid of all of them in the move. So I'm super excited for those. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is a salt and pepper shaker situation. They're so cute. Oh my God, look at them. Oh my God, and they come on this little, oh my God, these are cute. Look at how cute these are. Wait, I feel like they should go like this. Holy shit, I'm obsessed. Obviously we keep our salt and pepper right here next to the stove. So I'll be filling those up tomorrow. And look at how much cuter that is with my new dish towel. Thank you so much to my friend Drew. Drew's a good friend of mine from college. Non-zero chance that he may watch this as he is an internet user himself. Hi Pikachu, thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for these ones. Wedding registries are like so weird. At first I wouldn't want to have a register. My mom talked me into it. I just wanted people to give me money, <laughs> which sounds horrible or nothing at all. What are you doing, buddy? Anyway, but we did end up doing a registry because we ended up buying this house and my mom said, you know, just don't move the stuff that you've had forever and register for new stuff. And that is what we did. And like, I have this air fryer. As thanks to my registry, I have this bakeware thing, which I gotta do tomorrow. I'm making brownies tomorrow. And so many like countless other dope things that I would have never gotten for myself or that, you know, I had, but these are like so much nicer. And people just like buy them for me because I decided to make it official with the person that I've been with for seven years already. Okay, like look at how much glassware we got. The like nice wine glasses and the like tall Tom Collins glasses. Those are from the registry. Hello. I told myself I wouldn't film while driving because it was so loud last time. Hopefully I'm going slow enough because I'm in traffic that it's better. Today's been nuts. It's 10 a.m. It's Saturday. This morning I got up really early. I went to a yoga class, took a sh came home, took a shower, started to do some cleaning. And then I realized I was late to my appointment. I'm going to get Botox. It's like a thing I do now. It makes me feel better. It's so expensive. It's such a stupid habit. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it up after the wedding, but this is my Botox for the wedding. I literally only do here. 
It's the only, I don't do any of this. I don't do any of that. Any of that. I just do this because it makes me self-conscious and I want to look, I want to be like super happy with how I look in my wedding photos. So I don't really know why I feel like I need to explain myself, but I do. The lady who does my Botox is amazing, but she's in Santa Monica, which is a fucking drive. So I am stuck in traffic on the 405 on my way there, just stressing out about all I have to do before our friends come over tonight. I'll be going to the grocery store after Botox, and then I will just be cleaning and cooking all fucking day. But that's okay. I love to cook. I love to bake. I don't necessarily love to clean, but I love when things are clean. So it's like, I have to do it, you know? Okay. Hopefully I pick up speed soon. Botox me, baby. Oh God. LOL. The bumps go down. And now it's all about just like trying really fucking hard not to bruise. I to go to the grocery store and they told me that pineapple could prevent bruising. I don't really know why, but I'm gonna go pick up some pineapple at the store. Let's go. Tuna, wanna come help me with these groceries? Oh, hi, baby. Okay, I'll be in in one second. Are you kidding me? Can we just appreciate? Okay, there's like a little, hmm, I don't like that. I just made this cheese board. Okay, we got gluten-free crackers, goat cheese. I don't even know what kind of cheese this is. I just thought it looked cool. Sorotti, prosciutto, so prosciutto. I don't eat either of those, but other people do. Almonds, strawberries that were on sale. And this is pepper jelly from jalapenos grown in my mom's garden. My mom grew them and made them into a jam. <clears throat> It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna cover it and put it in the fridge, but oh my God, I'm obsessed. Also, do you think I got enough pasta for tonight? <laughs> Wanna see a magic trick? See this table? Boom, it's bigger now. That cut was probably horrible, but we've never done this, but this table has leaves that came with it and it makes it so much longer. Our first time having people over, make it a nice big table. <laughs> Look at my man cooking his sauce. Ooh. Looks like you murdered. Oh, tomato. A little outfit change for our friends come over. Okay, let's assess the damage from last night. I'm walking down for the first time. Let's see what my inebriated self left. Actually, kitchen table, clean. Some games I have to bring back upstairs. Aha, this is where all the mess is. Okay, I love that I put it all in one place for myself though. That's gonna be easy, easy peasy cleanup. Just some dishes and putting the table back the way it was. Let's see. We were all in the living room for a little while. I don't know, just besides some like gaming stuff being out. We did a good job, didn't we, buddy? Are you ready for breakfast? Oh, yeah, it's Sunday, so I'm not doing my makeup or anything like that. Happy Sunday. <laughs> I'm going to clean up. It's really not that bad. And then I have to go grocery shopping and do all my meal prep for the week. That's what's in store today. I don't think I'm doing anything else. At some point I have to take a COVID test because I have to take a COVID test every week for work. Um, In the meantime, you're inside a cabinet and I'm about to do a bunch of dishes, so. He's um, very needy today. He like has been meowing at me and now he only wants to just be held. He gets upset every time I try and put him down. I have to put you down, I have to wash my face. Can you just like hang out right there? This is ridiculous. I think I, I may have um, encouraged the codependency a little bit too much. Okay, we're basically all done cleaning. It's been like an hour. I just had some pineapple, but I've been wanting to try an experiment. I bought these because I'm trying to get more protein in because they say protein is really good for your hormones. I'm trying to regulate my hormones as much as I can before I go off birth control next month. So I'm trying to eat more protein, but I, I bought these because my friend said they were good and she's a fucking liar. Love you, Sarah, but they're disgusting. So I thought maybe I could like do half of one of these and some coffee and some ice and because it's not like that disgusting but it's not good to drink on its own i, ch I choked one down the other day just to see i bought look how many i bought you see i bought so many so i need to do something with them <laughs> i just brewed some coffee and it's sitting in the fridge so that it cools down a little bit before i blend it because one time i blended something that was boiling hot not the coffee is boiling hot but you know what i mean and the blender exploded and i burned my face that was like right at the beginning of the pandemic. It was literally traumatizing. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, that's actually good. So much more manageable. And it's got half of one of those muscle milks, so it's like 12 grams of protein. 12 and a half, I guess. There's like coffee in it, but not too much coffee, only half a cup I did. I'm really sensitive to caffeine. So I can't like go crazy, but mm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, dokie. I have just short of enough coffee to do it again tomorrow, so I'm gonna make more coffee because you know what? I think I'm gonna do this every day. Oh, it's still like there's like a little bit of thick parts in there, like um, like a frappuccino. Listen, it still tastes um proteiny, but 
because about the chocolate muscle milk because I thought it was gonna taste like chocolate milk. It doesn't. The coffee and the chocolate obviously go really well together. So listen, it's still protein. -y. It's not like, oh my God, like the best fucking thing, but it's not disgusting. So I literally have no fucking upper body strength. So this is a joke, <laughs> but I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna make some more coffee so I can cool it down and have this for the rest of the week. We got another registry gift. This is from some of Mario's friends from grad school, but this is the one I was, yeah, I'm down to two nails on this hand. It's so bad. This is the one I was most excited for and it's Sunday, I'm about to go to the grocery store, so these, I need to wash them and then I am so excited. Yay. Remove all purchased items. Grocery shopping done. Now let's go meal prep. Okay, meal prep update. Got our chickpeas, our tomatoes, our cucumbers and our rice is just cooling down. We have some chicken in the air fryer. Wedding registry gift. Rice cooker. I know I already dented it. Wedding registry gift. The whole reason I'm even making these is because we had leftover hummus from some takeout we got last week. So, unless I'm forgetting something, should be rice, chickpeas, chicken, hummus, tomatoes, and cucumbers. And those are our lunches for the week. Now I'm gonna chop up some fruit. I can eat the same thing every day as long as it's only for a week. So like with some exceptions, I usually eat different stuff on Fridays. It's like only making four lunches because I work from home on Fridays so I can cook. And the same breakfast every day and the same lunch every day. Different dinner every day because I come home and cook dinner. That's fine, I can do that as long as the next week it's something different and then I don't repeat that same lunch for like two or three weeks. You know what I mean? I hope that's clear. Anyway, so what was I saying? My snack for the week, oh my God. I have the burps. My snack for the week is going to be strawberries and Greek yogurt. Can you guys tell I'm really trying with this protein thing? Which is so hard. It's so hard for me to get protein in because I don't like to eat meat and I don't eat dairy products really. I've started introducing them a few weeks ago back into my diet very slowly and I'm so far digesting them okay. I've been doing okay with Greek yogurt actually. So anyway, I'm off to cut up wash and cut up all those strawberries. The whole time I took that clip, I had my actual nice camera. Wait, I wanted to show you guys some, ignore how dirty my fridge is. Okay, we had people over last night, but look at this. Obsessed. Also, look at this. There's like a exterior fridge and an interior fridge. You can open the exterior fridge from the inside or the outside. Plus we have a water and ice machine. Plus we have this like, chiller drawer this fridge came with the house and i've never had a fridge this nice in my life i'm obsessed i wanted to show that off also here's the catio it's right off the kitchen do we have any cats out there oh yeah Beethoven. he's sitting by his litter box for some reason i don't really know why that is usually they like went on a really hot day like today he likes to sleep in his little carrier that we keep out there he's vibing okay meal prepping is done mario just got home from golf and he is taking a shower upstairs i have just made myself a delicious little sweet potato fry snack in the air fryer and i'm about to watch some innocuous shit on netflix so that mario doesn't get jealous of whatever i watch <laughs> my friend yesterday was talking about this show how to build a sex room which sounds hilarious so i think that might be what i do i just got a notification that our wedding oh i got much darker when i turned the light off our wedding rings shipped they should be here this week i'm so excited and also i always have to take a covid test before i go into work on monday and it's negative yay let's get this bread I have decided to eat lunch outside today, which I do sometimes, but it is absolutely beautiful without being too hot. And there's tons of outdoor tables outside my office building. So I'll be doing this and I have my AirPods. I'll probably be watching some YouTube, drawing out all the traffic noises. I am hungry. That's the update. That's, that's my perpetual life update. I'm hungry. Okay. Oh, I look like a potato, an egg on a potato body. We got our, I think, should be our wedding rings in here. Also, this candle that I bought from Bath and Body Works, mm -hmm. I saw on TikTok is supposed to be like, it's supposed to kind of smell like pirates. I'm trying to see if I accidentally made any spelling errors. Oh, There's a light. Did you see that? No. Oh. Okay. First of all, we shouldn't put these on, right? I want to see if it fits. <laughs> Does yours spell right? 
the right yep. date. Mm -hmm. That's what I was making sure. <laughs> so our wedding rings say, mine says, I love you with our wedding date. And his says, I know with our wedding date from Star Wars. Maybe, all right, we can put them on, but I, we shouldn't put them on at the same time. Okay, I'm going to put mine on right now. Just okay. to see, it fits perfectly like a fucking glove. And look at that. I'm a, this is exactly how I wanted it to look. With my one remaining nail on this hand. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Look at that. That is beautiful oh my god that is quite literally exactly how i pictured it i totally picked the right width and everything i am so fucking happy with that okay oh that looks good is it too big it's a little big <laughs> no we can big. always get it resized yeah but you know i want if anything i wanted a little big so that way it wouldn't like i could like if I, my hands got fat it would still fit no. it's not falling off that's yeah, good. but you can't like, don't wear it in the shower, don't wash your hands, don't do the dishes, because oh, that shit's probably, going right down the drain. I probably wouldn't wear it in the shower anyway. I mean, I don't like wear my engagement ring in the shower, but every once in a while I forget, and I do. <laughs> it could maybe be like, what, what, I got like 9.25 or something, it mm -hmm. could be like 9 probably, mm -hmm. but... It just well. looks a little big. When you can go back to rock climbing, your fingers will get fat. <laughs> That's true, yeah. That looks so good, babe. You know what, and then no one will talk to you because they'll know you're mine. Yeah. Now you just need one long fingernail and then you'll match me. Do you like it? Your nail? No. <laughs> Your ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it is. I, I like, I mean, I like that it's simple. I like that it, I like the, what do you call that where it's like a little matte. opaque matte, I guess. Yeah. A little matte. Beveled? Is beveled? Or, no, beveled is the shape. Is the, yeah, it's like the beveled is the this part, the yeah. outer part. And like, I wasn't sure at first how I would feel about us not having like matching rings, but it doesn't bother me. No, I, I mean, even it would never look right because I'm always going to have yeah. this. And you know what it does kind of look like? It looks like if I put this into a fire, you'd have some like elven writing would pop up along. It, it. looks like the ring of power. A little bit. <laughs> Yay, wedding rings! <laughs> this man is truly agreeing to marry me. We don't know why. I mean, Your father's like, paying me handsomely. Oh my god. Can we even say that? Because I could be sure when I'm gonna have a conflict about it. Alright y'all, I'm ending the vlog here. So, I will see you in the next one. I'm into this vlogging thing. What kind of shit do you guys want to see from me? That would be helpful to know. Otherwise, I'll just keep filming my boring ass life. Um, seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I am going to keep doing this and I uh, am having a ton of fun. I always have so much fun when I make videos for my YouTube channel. It's just a matter of keeping it up. So we'll see. But for the foreseeable future, I think we're going to be good. See you guys in the next one. Bye.